How's it going everybody? Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming. This is uh, not a first impression video or another look video because I never did a video on this game. The reason why I never did a video on this game, um, even though it's really awesome, is because it has uh, sexual content in it. So disclaimer, this project has sexual content. However, this video will not show any sexual content besides uh, some imagery, I guess. So yeah, uh, it's going to be just uh, showing the game, and it's not going to really show anything super graphic. So, um, I'm going to put a link in the description below to where you can get the beta version of this game, the open beta. This is by Drunk Nest Cafe. He's a really nice guy. Um, let's jump into a new project and take a look at this. So, here's the warning. Adults only. Please be advised. New Pass contains sexually explicit material and so forth and so on. You probably want to make that a... Uh, a wait, uh, a wait until somebody presses something. But I see why it just went through it. So work of fiction, names, characters, places, and uh, incidents either are products of the author's imagination or are used fictitiously. Any resemblance to actual events or locales or persons, living or dead, is entirely coincidental. Um, we can see the intro, sure. So we're using a simple basic keyboard layout and uh, pretty much all of you in the uh, RPG Maker scene understand how this works. This is the Unfly plugin there. The game is using a stat system that will follow the player's progression. To view the stats, press escape or X to go to the menu. Use the arrow keys to navigate to the status menu options and select with it. Here you can see the stats and there's a lot of those. Your choices will have effects on your stats and trigger different events in the game. Now let's check the dialogue system. The small image on the left side shows what character is currently talking. She is Susie, the main character of the game. When the main character is thinking, the image in the left side will change to reflect that. Or what, the, uh, what she's thinking, it'll reflect. Uh, the C button is a multitask button that gives the player choices, removing party members. Uh, now you can understand the basics. Are you ready to start? Let's get started. So this is Kaznia, a small and beautiful country surrounded by mountains and lakes. It is sunny all year with the exception of the northern parts. The mountains block most of the sun there. The country has a dark history. For the last 200 years, the government suppressed the southern parts. The south, where over 70% of the, the country's population lives, are also the poorest. They do not want the share... They didn't want to share their resources with anyone. The South rebelled against the North. They clashed in battle. So basically, Nescafe is looking for some beta testers. And I'm going to put the links in the description to the project and where you can submit um, the, the link to Nescafe's Discord where he would like to get bug reports. So um, right now, the game's come uh, a long way, and he's looking for some feedback from people right now. He's got a lot of people... Uh, who are backing him on Patreon even. Um, so a lot of people are invested in this project, and if it's something that you're interested in, um, you can do that at your own discretion. But I just wanted to show you that this game is out there. The North won the battle with its technological superiority. In the aftermath, they started the construction of the Great Red Wall, the border between them. Since then, a lot of years have passed, and sadly the wall, automatic turrets shooting anything that is bold enough to get close, soldiers patrol on top of the wall day and night. Since then, there are no conflicts. The South did not dare to attack, as that would be suicide. They are am ambushing the convoys that are coming through from time to time. <clears throat> the North sends patrols to look for shipyards, which, if they do, will send a regiment to destroy it. They are also patrolling the southern shores with ships. If the fishermen cross the border, they will be promptly gunned down and sunk. So everything's pretty locked down, and it's kind of choking the economy, and everybody's kind of like in a tough, a tough situation right now. The northern government realized 100 years ago that the south will overthrow them with their sheer numbers, and as such, they started uh, propaganda. Young couples should marry and have kids at an early age, thus ensuring that there's a steady supply of army men to defend the country. Even though they are equals and have the same rights, women do not prosper for a career and live without a, hus and live without a husband. Uh, it's considered normal to get married and have kids at the, around the age of 20. 
Education for the northern population is only a priority for the people living in the capital. As for the people living outside the capital, they usually do hard labor. Teens normally drop out of high school to start to work to help out at home. This is Boulder Rock, a small mining village in the north. It's hard to come by. The mountains make it very hard for getting supplies. The ores are exported from the mine by helicopters. The general store has a wide variety of goods, foods, tools, and clothes. The store sells everything you could need, and even if it does not have it, the, the owner can get it with the next shipment that comes once a week. The local library has some good books. Sadly, not many people read them. The local bar is one of the meeting points for the, for the workers. And in this house lives a family of four. George the father, Martha the mother, Brian the adopted brother, he is 18 years old, and the youngest, the daughter, is Susie. She is 18 years old. Some say she is still a child. Some say that she is very naive. The year is 2004, and this is Susie's story. Daddy! So we play as Susie. What is it, dear? I need to talk to you. Okay, what is it? Shh! I don't want Daddy to hear. Oh dear, what is this about? Promise me that you will not laugh. What is it? Promise me. Oh, I promise not to laugh. I can't. What, dear? I can't. Speak up, Susie. I can't wear this bra any longer. Oh dear, are you sure I've grown a lot recently? Yes. I will talk to your father. Thank you, Mom. Go back to your room and I'll come in when we're done. So we play mainly as Susie. Right here, there's a little cutscene where you have the entrance. And the thing that's really cool about this game is uh, Ness does 3D rendering. And it's he's really, really good at making artwork. So he tried to do a game like this before. Uh, didn't get a lot of support. But when he mentioned it was going to be adult content, all of a sudden there was a lot of attention for it. So, you know, he's just, make, he's just trying to make a game. And if this is something that uh, you're interested in, this game, it, it's got a lot of complex systems in it, and it's got a lot of good artwork and 3D renders. Uh, what are you watching, dear? Oh, nothing important. Can I talk to you about Susie? Please, not another talk about getting her married. No, it's different this time. It's about her underwear. What? Relax, her bust has been growing a lot, and now her bra doesn't fit anymore. I understand. She needs some money to get to the store to buy new ones. Well, we've spent too much on her clothes this month already. We have to prioritize food over her clothes right now. Are we broke? I did not want you to know, but unfortunately, we are. How did this happen? Well, food prices are rising, and we have been constantly... And we have to constantly buy new clothes for Susie. How big is the problem? Let's just say we have enough for the basics, but that's it. Susie will have to buy the clothes for herself. I can't afford it. We can't. I understand. I just want to see her happy. Do you think she wants to stay and live? And still have food? Yes, of course. Then she will need to understand. Okay, I'll talk to Susie. I don't know how she'll react. We go back to Susie. Hey, sweetie, I've talked to your father. How much did I get? Dear, we have no money. What? Yes, the food prices have been increasing and your father can't work because of his back. We have no real income anymore and we need to cut down on our expenses. Your brother tries to help. Adopted brother? Don't act like that. He's your brother. No, he's weird. He lies down in the bed when I'm trying to change clothes. He even changed his place just to have a better view. Sweetie, he said that he just did that. Did just because he wanted to wake up to the sun. We have no sun in the mornings. We have a mountain in our bedroom view. Can we focus on the important matters now? Other than my creep adopted brother? Susie, we don't have any money for underwear or clothes. Then what shall I do with my breasts? They keep getting bigger. They will stop growing eventually, and if you have any money, you can buy it yourself or... Or what? Or you can find a husband that will provide you with everything you need. Mom, don't start this again. I don't want to spend my days living here. Why not? It's a boring mountain village, and the only reason people come here is to work in the mine. Would it be a dull life to live here with a man and some kids? It's just not for me. Not now, anyways. What do you want to do, then? Live with your parents forever? I want to see the world, go to the shores, and live my life by the, to the fullest. Not to, get, not to get kids as fast as I can. 
Well, that you need money, and money is what we don't have now. I'll find a job, just you wait and see. Sweetie, I believe in you, but you're just not the working type. What do you mean by that? Well, you only have a high school diploma, and you never have, never even had a part-time job, or even wanted one. Well, ties have changed, and so have I. Sure, Susie, but we need to discuss something else as, as well. What? Well, since you're going around without a bra, your breasts will... Let's just say it can send out the wrong signals to men. <clears throat> what kind of signals? Well, they can get aggressive. I can defend myself, Mom. I don't think you can. Just make sure you're careful. I will, Mom. Thanks for the talk. Anytime, sweetie, but now I need to get back to the kitchen. I'll show them. I can talk to the shop owner to see if he needs any help. So here we play as Susie. That was the intro, which is just about long enough. Didn't need to be any longer than that. You can change clothes with Susie. There's uh, a lot of interactable stuff. Let's just change into our gym clothes. We can go for a run or something. And you've got all of these meters and a time system and a day and night system. And there's, uh, there's a weather system. And there's just all kinds of complex stuff. You can go in here, lock the door, and, and brush your teeth or whatever, and you know, take a bath and just do all kinds of stuff. You know, uh, I'm sure some of you get what I'm talking about. Um, there's tons of variables to mess with, and where is it at? I think it's in status. Yeah, I mean, you just get all kinds of uh, relationships and just types of uh, things that can happen in this game. But I'm not going to go on too much farther. I don't really want to spoil it. I just already spoiled the intro, but that's just kind of like some dialogue stu stuff. You you talk with people, you interact with them, you get different choices. Um, Susie and Alina talk for about different subjects for about an hour. You pass time like that. Um, you, you can get a job um, doing different things. and it, It's just a cool game. And it's really got a lot going for it. And there's plans for working on another project that just started to transport, transport this game from MV to Unity. But that won't be for a while or something. Um, but it's already been worked on for a long time now. There's a whole lot of content. And if you're, if you're interested in this subject, maybe it's a game for you. If not, no, uh, you probably already clicked off the video anyway. But yeah, there's a whole lot to it. I'll probably uh, have to... I don't know. It's probably pretty, it's pretty clean. I didn't think I showed it anything too dirty. I mean, people have seen foul language before. So, yeah, um, that's going to do it for this. It's not really first impressions. Like I said, I played it a little bit already. and um, But this is the new version. There keeps getting uh, more versions out for it. This is the mines that they were talking about in the story. I think you can get a job here eventually. You have to do certain things, though. Oh, the wind is blowing hard. The wind surprised Susie. She lost so much she lost her foothold and fell to the ground. What? Susie started to laugh. Oh my god, how clumsy I am sometimes. Susie got back up and continued on her way. I think that's a good place to end it. <laughs> you guys can sort of see what this game is about. That's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give uh, this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I got RPG Maker MV content. I do tutorial videos, Game Maker Studio tutorial videos, all kinds of different stuff. Um, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're interested in this project, links to the public beta is down below, as well as a link to the Discord for uh, Drunk Nest Cafe, the, de the dev for this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.